What is going on guys and girls? My name is of course BBR Gaming and today I will be bringing you a brand new video on Assassin's Creed Odyssey and we will be going to discuss the modern day section of the game that is coming back. So guys and girls, if you do enjoy this video, then click that like button down below and subscribe for some more Assassin's Creed Odyssey news and informational videos. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video. So in Assassin's Creed Origins, the game that predates Assassin's Creed Odyssey, we were introduced to Layla Hassan. She was a former Abstergo employee who went rogue and who accessed the memories of people she has no DNA linked to thanks to an anarchist design she created. Now through this she was able to live through the memories of Aya and of course Bayek in the events of Assassin's Creed Origins. In this, her one of her friends actually got killed by Abstergo or the Templars and she was found by William Miles. At the end of the game, it was confirmed that she would be following in her, well, I wouldn't say ancestor, but in Bayek's footsteps and joining with the Assassins and becoming their allies. And they are still waiting for the helicopter this day. Now, a Santa Good Odyssey has officially been announced and some modern day info has been released. And this is what gameplay director Scott Phillips has to say. Layla is unimportant to the overall story and you have to do a couple of gameplay sequences with her. I would say it's a slight increased nature versus origins but not dramatically. Present day is always a tricky subject for fans and internally. Honestly it's very polarizing so finding the right way to weave it that into the game is tricky. Personally I'm a fan of the present day so games like Assassin's Creed 2 where it was woven into the mix that most fans love it was the best of both worlds so I think we try to take a cue from that but we'll see what fans think. And as well as this in an interview with Mark Alexis Cote or Mac as people call him. He does say that Assassin's Creed Odyssey is bringing back the modern day, but apparently it's optional for players of the game. It's very much gameplay sequency, meaning we will be able to play as her, not just watch cutscenes like in Syndicate that this, uh, that Ubisoft Montreal, or Quebec, sorry, actually created. Now, deep in diving into this, we did have a couple gameplay sequences with Layla, but going into some leaked info, Assassin's Creed Odyssey, we will see Layla going off with the Assassins into London to access the memories of these people. As we know, the two characters we get to choose from, the male or female, actually have a legacy to King Leonidas, as well as the precursors, i.e. Juno, Eve, Adam, the ones who came before, which is major, major stuff. I, for one, am a major fan of this, and I cannot wait to play as Layla again. I hope they do 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 do. <laughs> I hope they do go back to the Assassin's Creed 2 roots, just because that was fun. The interwoven storyline of modern day to historical was amazing, and it gave us an actual reason to be in the animus and in the historical setting. But I really, but I really want to see how this can be interwoven in with you know the new RPG aspects of the game. But guys and girls, that's been it for this video. If you have enjoyed, then click the like button down below and of course remember to subscribe for some more assassin's creed odyssey content so guys and girls i hope you all have an amazing day and i will see you in the next video